KLMN is a rectangle and we're asked for the coordinates of point P. Of course, we can solve this question using analytic geometry. In fact, the question itself has an analytic geometry vibe. But actually, we can solve this question much more simply by using trigonometry. Now that's what we're going to do. First, let's call the angle here alpha. Since this is 90 degrees, this angle right here is going to be the complement of alpha. Let's write it down. Beta angle. Now, since this is also 90 degrees, I can write the complement of beta right here. I mean alpha. Since this angle here and this acute angle here are alternate interior angles, I can call this the alpha angle. Since the ordinate of point L is 4, I call this length here 4. And since the abscissa of point K is minus 8, I call this length here 8. Now, I'm going to write the value of tangent alpha, 4 over 8, or if we simplify, 1 over 2. What does tangent alpha mean? It's the ratio of what you see opposite alpha to its adjacent side. In other words, the side opposite alpha will be half the length of the side adjacent to it. So, since the side opposite alpha here will be half the length of its adjacent side, I can write 2 here, because half of 4 is 2. Now, I'm looking at the small triangle here. Since the side opposite alpha will be half the length of its adjacent side, I can write half of 2, which is 1, opposite it. All right, now that we've written one here, we can write the coordinates of P. Since it's on the y-axis, its abscissa will be 0, and since the length here is 1, we can say its ordinate is minus 1. 